All right, for the next question and last question for today, this is uh, from Dan. Dan says, hi techies. Hi Dan. I am a Chinese viewer and I love your show. I am currently going to the States for college and plan to buy a MacBook. I am wondering if a Mac bought in the US recognizes Chinese characters. Can a Mac change its system language like an iPod? Thanks. Absolutely. This is a wonderful question. Thank you. So whether you're in Germany or whether you're in China, if you want to view things in different languages to practice your language skills even, it's a great way to do it. Let me show you how you do that. I'm going to go ahead and quit out here. Now, when I do this, I go to soft I can go to uh, the system preferences from my Apple menu. And in there is a thing called international. It has a flag like a UN flag. Very appropriate. I'm not sure it's exactly the UN flag, but it looks close enough to me. <clears throat> so there we go. And basically you have a whole list of languages here that you can choose from. <laughs> and there are a batch of them. And uh, uh, you can do different things too as far as formats for things for money or currency, that sort of thing. Your input viewer. Here's one thing I want to show you is you can actually um, choose the Chinese character palette if you want to for your keyboard. So when you check on that, your keyboard will actually change to where you can actually type in Chinese. So that's really helpful for you to be able to do that. If you scroll down, you'll see other things in here. Traditional Chinese, obviously I've have checked. We'll see more up there. If I do choose, uh, let's see, what else have we got in here that would be really good? Let's try Arabic. Uh, so we choose Arabic Courtney. Then we should see it up here as one of the choices. When we come up here, there's the languages that we've got, and I can change my keyboard to be whatever language it is that I want it to be. Okay? And so hopefully that helps you out a little bit for changing your keyboard. But now, if you notice the menus I've been showing you so far are in English, I'm going to change that. I'm going to go back to language, and I'm going to say, let's choose this one. I drag it and up to the top and let go. Changes take effect in the Finder the next time you log in. Changes take effect in applications the next time you open them. Well, I've actually found this to actually work sometimes as soon as you quit out of something like the system preferences. So if I go back to show all, and I go quit system preferences, and then I go to system preferences, there we go, I launched that application, and now everything's in a different language. And this probably makes sense to those of you who speak this language, uh, and those who don't are a little puzzled. In fact, some things got rearranged in this language. The international one is now the last one. It was over here. Um, but basically to change it back, Oh, by the way, just out of curiosity, does Firefox change its language? Eh, actually, in this one it doesn't. Maybe there's a plugin that you can do for the language. But uh, different programs might actually have that set up. Just out of curiosity, does iChat support? Yes, it does. Ah! <laughs> and I'm going to do quit iChat. <laughs> not going to actually do that. Well, just out of curiosity, does the calendar work? Uh, some of the calendar does. It still shows Tuesday, Jan 20. So it doesn't show the Chinese calendar. Um, quit out of that. All right, so anyway, so I, I can go back to that, and then I can just drag English up to the top, and <clears throat> close out, and now it's back to normal. When I go back to System Preferences, voila, it's all back in English again, and the International is back over here. <laughs> okay, so very versatile, multilingual. Hopefully that helps you out. All right, um, that's it for today. I hope you found this helpful. hope you found it informative. If you have questions, have troubles with your computer, things being a little confusing for you, uh, want a tip or recommendation, send us a question at questions at askthetechies.com. Thanks for watching.